Simlays, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 4. And uh, I'm excited to be back. I've had a week off, so if you guys have noticed there hasn't been as many videos as usual, it's because I've just taken a break uh, just after Christmas. I just needed to wind down a little bit and, you know, I do YouTube full time, so uh, everyone needs needs a little break. Um, but I am excited to be back. I Snapchatted, oh my god, good to be back with a picture of the Sims startup screen, like load screen. I was like... <gasps> <sighs> Anyways, like I said, I needed a break and, it, and it's quite obvious to me because guess what? I didn't save the last recording of this. I forgot to save the game when we made babies and we made Margie a shrine. I know, I'm really, really sorry. I knew you guys would be so disappointed. Um, so I am very sorry about that. So I am just going to go ahead and remake this shrine area for Margie. Uh, it also means that even though we created this beautiful romantic scene for Barbie and Ken, uh, we had candles lit and they tried for a baby in the spa and it was oh so beautiful. And uh, yeah, I forgot to save it. So we have to make them woohoo again. So I thought this time, you know, there's no mucking around. There's no romance. We're getting them down to business. We're gonna have twins. I mean, it's just got to happen, right? Right? Uh, pedestal. Pedestal. Let's see. Let's go here. Oh, damn it. Not that one. That was a rookie area, wasn't it? Pedestal in... What? Okay, fine. Fine. We'll go here. Go the long way. All right. And uh, actually, some of you guys did comment that Margie's gravestone or urn should actually have uh, the rope fencing around it because she was so fabulous and awesome that it would just make more sense. And you know what? I quite like that. I love that idea. So we're going to make her look pretty flash uh, like that. If you guys don't know the story about Margie, she actually literally shopped until she dropped. She died whilst at a shopping mall and she died fabulous as she always was. So a very happy ending for her. Um, move objects on. And actually, it's not really an ending for her because she still comes out of the urn sometimes and floats around the house. I was actually thinking it would be really sweet uh, if we did add her to the household. Um, but she ended up living with Diamond because I think a lot of us know or have been speculating that Diamond and Augustus have been having a little bit of a rocky relationship so recently so I wouldn't be surprised if Diamond moved to the city uh, with the kids and maybe Margie could help out with her bringing the kids up I thought that would be really nice um, because I don't know if it, if Diamond and Augustus are going to be together forever you know spice up the LP a little bit uh, but anyways let's get these guys to get busy all right as I said, no romance. Let's just do it. Let's go for a baby. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Oh, oh my God. I love that nightgown from the Sims 4 Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. It's so pretty. Oh, she looks so worried. Why are you worried? <laughs> Should Ruby invite over classmate Luna? Oh, gosh, the kids are already home from school. Let's lock that door. Let's lock the door here because I'm just, I don't want the kids walking in on this. Lock door for everyone, but... Uh, Barbie. Let's just do that for now. Ruby is back from school. They're not really doing that well at school. Um, I mean, they're exhausted. So let's just get them to bed. Uh, Onyx can go to the bathroom and then we might get him to... Oh, where is his homework? Hmm. Where would they have left their homework books? It is a bit annoying that when it's in the inventory, it's hard to find where your homework is I mean is there actually a shortcut to do it no I think that's something they could add to here like just straight away do homework and also your job skill building uh sometimes you can't find like very easily what you need to do on the computer and that's kind of annoying I think they could maybe change those couple of things to be a bit better okay I don't know where their homework books are <laughs> do we just buy another one I don't know. I feel like, oh, I love Pearl's bedroom though. Uh, I feel like we should maybe just put a bookshelf in here, sneaky bookshelf. Let's get this one. Is there a better color? Hmm. 
The black's kind of nice actually, but I think because it's pearl, we'll keep it white. Uh, and then purchase books. Oh, did we leave, did we lock the door for everyone but Pearl? I think in the old house we had that. I'm just gonna grab two of those. Oh, it only costs a dollar each. How good is that? The Sims have a very good government initiative to only, well, you know, government funding for schools. Thanks for ordering. Okay, so he can do his homework. Pearl can do her homework. Uh, I know oh, she really needs a bit of fun though, so she might watch. Wait, how's Onyx's fun? I mean, they're, oh God, both of their fun's really not good. What are you guys doing? Are you playing in here? Oh, that's adorable. Aww. Oh, Onyx is chilling out with his, with the toilet. <laughs> All right, I think what we'll do is actually get them to hang out in here. Uh, should we go to the upstairs lounge room? Because it's a little less formal. Yeah, let's just get them to watch a movie together. Watch movie with Pearl. Oh my God, Barbie. What are you there? Like, what is wrong with you? God, she's looking very dirty. I don't know what her and Ken got up to, but it ain't pretty. Wow. Okay, let's try for... I know... I'm sorry, I know it's tough going, you know, this baby making business, but we gotta keep going. And whilst you're doing that, okay, Barbie really, oh, Barbie had an accident. Oh, good grief, that sucks. All right, well, this is cute. Um, <laughs> he's on his phone. <laughs> okay, so I'm also gonna go through the comments from the last part. Uh, I had Ida say, can Onyx and Pearl have a birthday party together? That would be so cute because they are always together. I think that's such a cute idea, uh, Ida. I think we definitely should do that. And uh, furthermore, I think someone said, oh yeah, Anna said Pearl and Onyx could have a black and white birthday party together. And Izzy was like, that's such a cute idea. And I agree with Izzy. I think that is an adorable idea. So I think they should have a black and white party because look at them. They're like two peas in a pod. They are the cutest things ever. Uh, and then we had a Southern writer said Ken's political scandal from future opponent. Rooftop woohoo with an unidentifiable female or likes to bathe nude on rooftop where the whole city can see him. I thought that was quite funny. Uh, Zogo said, I think Ruby should get a vanity table with loads of makeup. And then said, I mean that she should have her own one because she begged for it from Barbie and Ken. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Oh, and Ali had some great name suggestions for the new kids, hopefully twins, Jasper and Amber, Coral and Opal or Coal, Aquamarine and Turquoise, Emerald and Peridot. I don't know what Peridot is, but kind of cool. Uh, and also Alicia kind of agreed with that comment and said, if you have twins, you should give them names that are coordinate, but stick to the gem rock theme. So gold and silver, jade and emerald, Flint and Jasper. I love the idea of Flint and Jasper. That is so cool. Anyways, uh, their fun has gone up a lot. Onyx is, you know, he's a very quiet, uh, a lot of the time very negative kind of person in some ways. So I, his fun doesn't go up as quickly as Pearl's, who is quite a positive girl. She's very positive. She's a very happy girl. So um, I think they should do their homework together. Let's turn this off. All right, time to get down to business. Uh, what's Barbie doing? Is she feeling refreshed? You know what? Why don't you make, you know what? Why don't you not make anything? Why don't you assign a task to the butler? Where's hot butler gone? It, is that who I think it is? Is hot butler having a hot bath? <gasps> Honey. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful image. All right, I took a picture. Okay, <laughs> uh, call over. I don't want to make him like stop his bathtub, but you know what? He has responsibilities. We need you to cook for us. Cook a family meal, please. Hot butler who does have a name, Marco. Marco. Who Ruby will end up with when she ages up. I don't know, are we aging up? Hmm, should we age up Onyx and Pearl first and then Ruby? I feel like 
I feel like we should do that. Maybe we should set up for their party in this part. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, mister. Don't grill the fruit, Barbie. Maybe she should take up piano. Maybe she decides to learn an instrument because, you know, she hasn't been working for a while. She Her job is to be the housewife. She's got a lot of kids to look after. Uh, Ken is sleeping. That is good. He'll be home for dinner. We'll be able to have a bit of a late family dinner, I think. Uh, Jem, we better wake you up so you're not up the whole night. Ruby, the same. Yeah, everyone should be able to have quite a nice time together. Okay, did you finish your homework, Pearl? Did you finish your homework? 50% done. Okay, good. They're just working together. Okay, cute. Oh my god, that statue scared me so much just then. I was like, who is that? Donna, 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 Donna. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> uh, random. Oh, these guys. I feel like these flowers should be a different color. Does anyone ever just play their Sims game and be like, it's time to freshen this up a little bit? I mean, we could go purple for a change. Let's go multicolor. Let's brighten it up. It's 2017, y'all. Let's have some fun. Where's the butler? Oh my gosh, Barbie learning how to play. That's nice. Okay, so uh, it is time. Are you serious? You made us BLTs for our family meal? I mean, it's a little bit disappointing, but... I was hoping for spaghetti or something a little bit more dinner than lunch. Okay, everybody, dinner's ready. That's what she would say. Ruby, wake up, honey. Everybody dig in. Wait, where'd she go? What? What? Why? What is with the routing? Why did she go up? Hold on. Where is she? She's gonna go there? Oh, I see. Cause she wants to keep Jem company who, maybe Jem's like on a workout diet. He's like, yeah, mom, I just need heaps of carbs. So I'm eating a heap of fruit, you know? Well, Jem, honey, you know, carbs are actually in bread. So I, I, I asked Marco to make you a beautiful bread meal tonight. Look at this. It's like, nah, mom. Fruit's the way to go. He doesn't really talk like that. I don't know how to do guys' voices. Okay. Well, he's feeling happier. Uh, what does he need to do? He needs to reach level two logic skill and fill out reports. So I feel like he, he could do that bit of work now. And I also really wanted him to go on a date with Margot, but I feel like... <sighs> I feel like he should probably work tomorrow and then when he has the weekend off, he can go on a date. And maybe we have the party tomorrow night for Onyx and Pearl. Yeah, I think I think that's probably the best thing we can do. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Now, where's Jem's laptop or computer, rather, to fill out reports? Now, I always get a little... Oh, my God. We can't afford to pay our bills. Damn, son. That's so bad. Okay, fill out reports. No. No more dancing, Gem. You have a job and you're an adult. You need to take... Why is this not working? Teleport him here. There we go. Web, fill out reports, please. What? What do you mean? You can't do this. That chair's working. Is it the painting? Oh, it must be this. Is that in the way? Let's get rid of that. Oh God, look at Barbie. Uh, let's try again. For the third time lucky. Web, fill out reports. What is, why is he not Jem? What is wrong with you? Why is everyone in Jem's room? <laughs> I don't understand. 
Is he just being so stubborn that he just refuses to fill out his reports? Maybe. What the truck? Okay, fine. Let's give you a new chair then. Let's give you a new chair and a new laptop. Don't understand what's wrong with this. There we go, that's fine. That's fine and well. There you are. Oops. Oops, the daisies. More choices. Web, fill out reports. Oh, now you'll fill out your reports. He just wanted a new computer. What a spoilt, what a spoilt guy. How's Ruby going? Just showering in gem shower because why not? Let's get her to give Wolfgang a call. Um, cause she's trying so hard to get with Wolfgang. I also saw some comments saying, can you please give Wolfgang a makeover? Oh, he's sleeping as if you're sleeping at 11. Actually, it, it is kind of fair enough. <laughs> I changed my mind. All right. We'll let Ruby go to sleep. Uh, what's Onyx doing? He's feeling inspired. He wants to go dancing, which is very cute. Did he finish his homework? Yes, he did. I think he should have a little bit of time talking to his toilet. Um, potty mouth 2.0. Oh, check out that little glitch. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's converse again. Friendly chit chat. Is that the right one? I'm not sure. Let's go, Onyx. <laughs> so funny. And Pearl. Oh, Pearl's having a party. Girl, I feel like it's much, much past your bedtime. So I'm going to put you to bed. Time for Betty buys. Time for Betty Winkles. In you go. It's pretty cool they all have double beds. I mean, how lucky. Everyone's dancing. All right, Jam, did you finish what I told you to do? Just started? Oh my God, he's the laziest guy ever. Like after all of that effort, he doesn't even finish filling out his reports. He goes and dances. <sighs> wow. My God. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. That is not, that, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, better try for another baby before we check her pregnancy. Take a pregnancy test. Okay, let's go. Um, also, I, oh, that's because the door's locked. Okay. Uh, also, you guys, I went and I know some of you guys being from different places in the world and different cultures. Some of you guys find this TMI, um, but I went and got my pap test done today, um, which if you guys are younger, it's not something you have to worry about. But for you guys who are like my age and older, um, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know I got a pap test because I think it's good to talk about it and be like, reminded to go because it's really important for women's health so I'm just gonna share that with you guys and it's always a little bit awkward but it wasn't so bad this time the doctor was actually really nice so that was good and this just reminded me <laughs> oh god I love these bedside tables I actually weirdly love these with these lamps because I feel like this is really contemporary modern at the same time it's obviously quite deco inspired but i love the juxtaposition between super modern and then super traditional i like that a lot all righty so uh that's pretty good they've tried for their other baby oh, i love margie's little shrine i mean i have a pathway going there but i don't want them to be able to mourn her all the time <laughs> all right barbie let's get you to take a pregnancy test how exciting, girl. Go take that test. She has a lazy eye, doesn't she? She has a little lazy eye. <gasps> Yay! 
eating fit too. Oh, hopefully three. Where are you, Ken? <gasps> She's like, guess what? I'm pregnant. Ken's like, oh, oh my God. Not again. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh God. I think he needs to go have a little snack -er. Uh They could both have a snack, a midnight snack or past midnight snack. <laughs> That's really sweet. Oh, and now she's in her uh, good old 60s getup. So in terms of the black and white party, mm, I'm wondering, I reckon I should, I don't know if they should have it at home or if we should have it at a venue. I almost feel like we should have it at a venue. And I'm going to ask you guys, if you have a black and white venue, uh, to use the hashtag Barbie, just use the hashtag Deligracy Barbie on the gallery. And I'm going to look up some black and white venues to hold the party at that you guys have created. So use the hashtag Deligracy Barbie for a chance for your venue to be in the Let's Play. Uh, and I'll just pick one of those. Um, don't feel bad if yours isn't picked, of course, because, um, you know, just it's just an opportunity to for someone's to be in this. So it's not like a competitive competition or something. Um, why? Oh, my gosh. Ken is just so indecisive, isn't he? Uh, because, yeah, I think we should have it somewhere else. I don't think we should have it here. Uh, I think it'll be nice to mix it up a little bit, you know. Okay, let me see this romantic dinner with the two of them. Oh, they should totally do couples meditation. Yes. Yes, honey. Okay. Oh, can have a little chat about the new baby. Bobby's like, I really would like some new dinnerware uh, as a gift for the baby. Ken should give her a gift every time that she has a baby. Let's maybe, I think Ken should say something really nice to her and be like, romance, uh, something really nice. Serenade. Aww. She's like, hmm, thank you, Ken. They're so sweet, aren't they? Okay, I mean, he's still having a little a little nibble. I'm gonna get Barbie to come over here, do a little bit of meditation, and I think we'll get Ken to join her. It's their new couple's activity. Uh, I love her rainbow hat. You know what, I don't even think he really needs to finish that. Let's just go over here. Let's go, Kenny. Why does he take so long? <laughs> Why, Ken? Doesn't she look cute in her rainbow cap and purple lilac getup? Oh, this is just what I did. Surely I did not pick that hat for him. Good grief. Ken has had so many midlife crises. <laughs> it's very funny. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.